Hi. In this video I will show you how to solve an easy Hattori puzzle. An easy starting point is to look for three numbers on the same row or column and two of them are next to each other. For example take a look at the fours on the first row. If the first four was white, the rest of the fours on that row must be black. But then we will have two black cells next to each other, which contradicts the rules. This means that the first four must be black. When we place a black cell we can immediately make the neighbor cells white. And when we place a white cell we can check if the same number appears on the same row and column. We can check for twos here. And for fours here. We are out of luck this time. The next thing we can look for is two of the same number, which are one cell away from each other. For example the fives on the second row. If the cell between them was black, both fives will need to be white, which is not allowed. This means that the cell between them must be white. Now we can scan the row and the column for twos. And indeed there is a two at the bottom of the column. That cell must be black. Now we can make the neighbor cells white. First we can make the five white, while at the same time checking its row and column for other fives. There is one above, which we can make black. Then we repeat the same for this one. We make it white. Find other ones on the same row and column. Make them black. We do the same for this too. It doesn't have other twos on the same row or column. Then for this one. There's another one on the right. Then for this one. And for this four. Making this two white forces a black cell on the right side. And making this four white forces a black cell on the top of the column. We can make white the rest of the cells which are next to a black cell. We have only one cell left. If we make it black, some white cells will be isolated from the rest. So the last cell must be white. The puzzle is solved. In the next video I will show you how to solve a hard Hattori puzzle.